to um, I think these are always so hard to get right. Oh 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 sorry. Hi. You came. I mean I I knew you'd come, but um it it's good to see you. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Oh, of course I did my assignment. Jeez. You're the only one who's a student, you know. I mean, not n now. It's exciting, isn't it? First year, Magical Academy. Not just being a familiar. Not that I didn't like being your familiar. I loved it, but um, it, it's cool to be doing things out on my own. <laughs> it's nice to be like a staff member of the Educational Cafe on Familiars. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> okay. I, I invited you here so I could practice my, um, you know, greetings and stuff before tonight. It's a big deal having a entirely familiar run cafe. We gotta prove that we're independent and don't need wizards to, um, tell us what to do. <laughs> Alright, you ready? <clears throat> Welcome to the Familiar Cafe. As part of a cultural festival, we made it our mission to educate our guests on monster culture. As uh, um, especially... Uh, uh, hold on. Especially the ones who make great familiars. Yes. Um, with food and tasty drink. Would you like me to explain the menu? Wait for response. Great. Okay. Huh? Oh, I'm not meant to say that part. Oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, these are all the, um, uh, items we have that are based on monsters. Uh, specifically monsters often used as familiars. So first off we have um, rabbit charm pies, which is like me. <laughs> Despite the name, these fried pies contain no actual rabbit, thank goodness, and are instead filled with spiced carrots, blackberries, and potatoes. They are often taken by human travelers on long journeys, as they last a long time. Legend says that a tired and hungry traveler who was, fir was first offered these, um, by a kindly carriage driver with long rabbit ears before they um, rode off into the mist, never to be seen again. I like it when food comes with a little backstory, don't you? Yeah, sometimes I um, think food tastes better if you have a story to go... Oh, I'm getting distracted. Sorry. Yes, I, I know it's, it's fine when we talk, but I gotta be prepared for tonight. So, um, the rabbit pies are completely vegetarian friendly and, uh, very delicious. I've had ten. I mean, I, uh, maybe, um, I mean, n not that I have, um, stolen any from the kitchen. Uh, m m moving on. <laughs> the cat she cakes. These simple berry and fig cakes are often baked at funerals, and it is said that the taste is so delicious that the cat, she, will forget to do their duties of stealing souls to eat them, allowing bodies to be laid at rest. So, I guess, um, some people believe in something called Nyamata? Some sort of cat god? Who's very easily distracted from their job with Cakes? <laughs> Weird. Sometimes I think these traditions are a bit strange, but I guess it's not for me to judge, right? <laughs> well, you know, as long as everyone's having fun. <laughs> oh, next up we have the uh, winged flan, um, which is a light and airy flan made with harpy eggs, 
honey and crop milk. It is a common dessert made by harpy mothers. It can be found for sale in harpy villages consisting of little houses or nests connecting to each other on cliffs or large trees. One of my friends um, at the cafe is a harpy. Yeah. His name's Beep. He's really nice, but he gets distracted easily. Jeez. Can you imagine that? Do you like the pictures I drew? I, I drew them all myself because they said I was a good um, artist. What do you think? See the wings? They actually do look like that. And next, we have a green slime melon juice, made from freshly squeezed sour melon juice and slime jelly. Uh, slime strip, delicious, slightly acidic but refreshing slime that is perfectly edible and fun to eat too. Slime harvesting is a non... is... N non... What does this word mean? non-fatal to slimes and often helps them move around more comfortably so they don't harm the slimes in making slime flavored things. I, I've seen a few slimes around the um, school. They are weird. They're very jiggly and they don't seem to know what's going on ever. In any case, um, next up is the, uh, the Kyushi, Kyushi Bark. Oh, right. A herbal tea with fresh flavors of cinnamon, thyme, and nettles that is said to reveal dangerous future events, giving it a reputation similar to that of the famous Kyushi Fei Dog. Interesting and dangerous. Uh, we're selling this? Do we really want people to be able to see into the future? Specifically only bad things? I mean, I drank some and I just imagined that they didn't have enough of the uh, bunny charm pies for tonight. But that won't happen. Um, I mean, I guess if people are enjoying it, there's no problem, right? <laughs> oh, and last we have the Phantom Marsh Mousy Coffee. That's a mouthful. Rich Estalm... Estalm? Is that how you say that word? Well, where's Estalm? Oh. I should go there. Rich is storm coffee topped with filled, uh, topped and filled with phantom mouse marshmallows. Phantom mice have developed a novel method for keeping themselves safe from predators by producing a burst of illusionary copies of themselves when they are stressed or frightened. Can you find the copies? And then, um, I think rhetorical, so you're not meant to answer me. <laughs> so that's the menu. We designed it all together. Everyone got their input. I'm the one who came up with the uh, rabbit charm pies, because I really like the story about the bunny highwayman, highwayman or carriage driver, depends on the story, who saved a human in need. Some people say it was a fae of some kind, but we really don't know a lot about the fae because they kind of live in their own world and it's hard to get there. And oh, in any case, um, do you think I did good? <laughs> I know some students turn their familiars back into animals after this semester is over, so I wanted to thank you for giving me a chance, even though in the beginning I was a bit more 
stupid, you know, chewing things, knocking stuff over. So thanks for not giving up on me, teach me how to read, and helping me when I signed up to become a student at the Magic Academy myself. I don't have um, the best grades yet, but I feel like as long as I keep trying, anything's possible. And I even managed to cast a few spells. <laughs> Thanks. I know I can always count on you to believe in me. <laughs> so, um, do you want to go into the back and try some more of those, like, pies? Huh? What? Are you saying that we shouldn't be eating as many of those? I mean... What's the worst that can happen? Oh, no. 